The Overwatch League. No, no, no. Surely things can't still be going poorly in the Overwatch League. Well, let's check in, you see, because it happened this week that John Spector announced his exit from Activision Blizzard. And John Spector is a very prominent figure in Overwatch. He's yet another head of the Overwatch League that has left the company. He was also the current overwatch commercial leader and vice president and he's going at the end of march he's out and of course they say left or announces exit we don't know but you have to i'll get into a little bit of industry speculation to link it to previous reporting but as i said if you know overwatch you know john specter is i mean john specter even turned up in a piece of my reporting i think with a leaked document that revealed they were running some sort of fucked up luxury competitive tax wage cap that they might not even legally be allowed to run in america so john specter's heavily involved with the overwatch league and so anyway john specter the former head of the Overwatch League and current Overwatch commercial leader and VP at Blizzard Entertainment announced Friday he was leaving the company after more than six years. I mean, six years. It's like, do you even make an announcement after six years? I don't know, but whatever. Spectre left his role as head of the Overwatch League in 2021, having been in multiple roles related to the league since he joined the company in 2017 from the National Basketball Association. Another fucked up trend in esports, by the way. We keep bringing people in from stick and ball sports and stick and ball broadcasting like you know pete vlastelica coming from fox sports and they say this is what works in our game this is what works on on cable and they try and do it and esports is different esports is so different and then they wonder why their products suck and don't work because you're trying to fit that square peg into a round hole so in a statement on twitter specter said he would have officially leave blizzard blizzard at the end of march but did not indicate where he plans to go next. He also said that he has worked closely with the Overwatch League leadership team to ensure a smooth transition once he exits. After six amazing years, oh, haven't they been amazing? I've decided to hang up my sword and I'm leaving. <laughs> and there it is, actually. There's the sword, I imagine. Fantastic. Not cringe. I've decided to hang up my sword and I'm leaving Blizzard at the end of March. Working on Overwatch has been the biggest, uh, sorry, has been the highlight of my career. Team 4 brings immense talent and passion to their work every day. Thank you to everyone at Blizzard who made this chapter of my career so incredible. And thank you to the Overwatch community too. I'll still be around memeing in Twitter replies and posting DPS Moira highlights. Good God. So, right, again, this one by James Fudge, as you can see. But, but yes, terrible. Now, a lot of people might, like, not, re not see the sort of hidden subtext or what I believe to be the hidden subtext. But let's start linking the pieces of what we know, right? We know the Overwatch League is failing. The Overwatch League has absolutely failed. It lurched from one business model to another business model, a business model that fundamentally couldn't work regardless of whether or not we had a pandemic where everyone wasn't allowed to socialize but certainly impossible to work in a pandemic they then changed that tried to pivot to online pivot to digital but then were hit with just sustained negative headlines negative headlines that anyone with half a brain could have seen coming down the pipe you know, you think about the lack of quality control, the focus on mobile, the focus on gouging people through Call of Duty, the focus on just gouging people through monetization in general, when the most successful product they've got is fucking Candy Crush in their portfolio, which direction do you expect it to go in? And they made worse and worse and worse products, making people who've been at Blizzard for years have to come out and be the face of disastrous launches that they were forced into, that they absolutely wouldn't have wanted to be associated with if blizzard was the old blizzard back when they cared about the shit they put out they then get into it's not just that we make terrible games now and terrible products and gouge our consumers we also treat our employees like shit particularly our women abound lawsuits investigations perhaps insider trading going on 
according to one uh, investigation. Everything bad you can imagine that they do, they do. The Cosby Suite story. People essentially sexually harassing and sexually assaulting women who work. And of course, the tragic story of one woman's potential suicide being linked to that behaviour. Now, obviously, no one wants to be associated with that. No one condones that. No one in, in any good conscience could say anything positive about the Activision Blizzard working environment once these revelations came along. You've got revelations of people putting fucking hidden cameras in the women's toilet, breast milk of pregnant, uh, of, of um, new, you know, new parents disappearing out of the fridge. It's gross, it's weird, it's fucked up, and it's public and everybody knows it and so obviously share price plummets share price goes down sponsors leave the overwatch league in droves again in solidarity with everything those women and other employees went through and not just the women employees that were abused and harassed in the frat boy working environment i'm also talking about they deliberately pressuring people into not unionizing over in their quality in the show quality assurance divisions this is again on record they're securing the services of law firms known for union busting they're sending out recommendations to their employees saying listen once you're in a union the union controls you and and you'd be way better off staying independent the classic corporate lie to stop the workers rising up and seizing the means of production it's been a nightmarish time microsoft even swooping in and get to buy this company and despite resistance and a really strange bobby kotick burn down the world media tour that we've also talked about it's gonna go ahead in 2024 i've got no doubt about it and so anyway activision blizzard has been brought to the brink and so why would anyone sponsor the overwatch league but here's the interesting thing i reported in one of my Deserto articles about behind the scenes at Overwatch and other things. They were told initially, the owners, this is, the people who've sp paid, theoretically, 20 million, 30 million to be part of this disastrous fuck up. They were told, don't worry, we're going to get the sponsors back. Many of the sponsors are just walking away because of optics. They'll be back. That was a thing that was communicated to them. And also, by the way, we can get new sponsors. We just wait for this to blow over. It's never blowing over. Activision Blizzard's reputation can't be saved. It can't be salvaged. And so they've got no sponsors in the league. John Spector's the guy in charge of that. Where are the sponsors? And we also know from other reporting that Jacob Wolf did, the owners have come together for the first time playing nice. And what they've decided to do is they have retained the services of a law firm. Now, I've been digging around that for ages. I will continue to dig around that. You will read about it on my Substack as soon as I know more. But they've retained a law firm called Sheridan's for the purpose of some sort of group action against the league. And what possible action could you take against the league? How about selling me a completely fucking false bill of goods? Seems like the kind of thing I might want to take fucking action against, right? If I pay 20 million for a league and you promise me all of these things and none of these things are forthcoming... We don't even have sponsors and you've completely fucked up all the economic opportunities in the league, getting us banned in fucking China and other crazy shit. Yeah, I'm probably going to talk to a lawyer about what my fucking options are because you have had my fucking eyes out. And so I have to wonder, John Spector leaving at this moment in time says to me these things are connected says to me that essentially one of the big complaints is the lack of economic opportunity the lack of sponsors especially now remember they're giving slots away to contenders teams to play in a league that was meant to be hermetically sealed by design for the purposes of creating artificial exclusivity and with it value there is no way that the guy who's in charge of the commercial aspects of the overwatch league leaving at that time when that law firm has been retained with all of the problems that it's had there's no way this is a coincidence guys there's no i don't believe in coincidences in esports i've seen too much so this is another blow for the league who are you gonna get to replace john specter <laughs> who's gonna want that job especially when bottom line here's how the story of the overwatch league ends how it was always going to end but now we can even put a hard date on its end 
right, for the first time ever. Here's how it was always going to end. It was always going to be shut down and people were going to say, immensely proud of everything we attempted to do, but we were ahead of our time and we got super unlucky, pandemic, market shrinkage. Oh, well, on to the next thing. Fail upwards, pat ourselves on the back. That was how it was always going to go down. That was how it was always going to end. But here's the, here's the brilliant part about it. Now, I'm Microsoft. I've got all these new shiny Activision blizzard toys in my disposal i own all their ip i own all their properties i own everything it's all mine all mine if i'm the microsoft executives why the fuck would i keep an overwatch league running all bobby kotick's brainchild to get his sports friends into his fucking gaming empire that's all it ever was so why the fuck would Microsoft keep it going? The minute the Microsoft fucking act merger goes through, guess what they do? They pull the plug on the fucking Overwatch League, the Call of Duty League. Why would they keep the... They'd never even run leagues. Why would they bother? What would be the point? What's the net benefit? They want to put the games on fucking Game Pass anyway so they can get people fucking all hyped for the added benefits of a live service that you have to subscribe to. It's gone, like. It's totally gone. And so... If you know anything about how Microsoft does business, and certainly just in general, big mergers between the companies, you know, you come in and you look at what works and what makes money, you look at a spreadsheet, you go, that goes, that goes, that goes, that goes, that goes. You, you say, we bring back this property, this property, this property, we're going to sell this, we're going to add a subscription service. You work it all out, and that's what you go with. you got to take one look at the abysmal performance of these esports leagues, and you got to fucking pull the plug. Gone. They're all gone. They're already dead. I don't even know why they're bothering, especially with the Chinese situation they should have already announced they should have already announced and so I'm gonna keep digging into that story because I know I know what's coming down the pipe we all do you don't even have to be a fucking esports genius to figure this one out this story's over I'll also add just as a little final bit of speculation I do wonder about like whether this is you know it could conceivably be John Spector saying you know what I know what's coming down the pipe so I'm gonna jump to the next thing it could be it could be walking away it doesn't seem like it it seems because it's gonna literally coincide with the start of a new financial year I'm gonna wager it's a contractual thing and they're not renewing him because why would you we don't need we don't need anyone <laughs> effectively they'll also not rehire for this i think i think they'll just put someone who's already at the company in that role blizzard love doing that at the moment people doing multiple jobs so yeah the overwatch like it's just trash it's fucked it's all over like i don't, I don't like why don't the overwatch fans and look you, you'll always have the pawn Start watching something else. There's loads of cool esports. Don't believe what Activision Blizzard told you. The internet's not a terrible and scary place. There's loads of good communities. You know, maybe not Counter Strike, but which is fucking garbage. But you know, there's there's other options. You can go places. You can see other things. It doesn't have to be Widowmaker's feet. It doesn't. You can really get into esports. It can really be there for you. Stop watching this league. Let it tank. Let it die quietly.